sex, lies, and murder. Prosecutors trying to tie up the case against Bob Beshera with the testimony of another woman who was allegedly part of a triangle in his alternative sex life. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell spent the day in court. Bob Beshera made these faces at Janet Lehman as she testified today during his preliminary exam. She told the court she met the Gross Point Park man on the website alt.com and that he liked to play the role of a slave master in his sexual relationships. Defense attorneys say it's not relevant, but prosecutors say their erotic life is evidence in the murder of Bob Beshera's wife, Jane. The reason? Jane Beshera was strangled, and Janet says Bob liked to engage in breath play with her. It's when um, a dominant person wraps their hands around your neck. As you can see, the judge asked, do we not show the faces of witnesses as they testify? Janet says on top of engaging in breath play, she and Beshera spoke of plans for a future. That he was looking for two women to share a house with him. Prosecutors are trying to make the case that Bob Beshera killed his wife, Jane, so he could start a new life with Janet and his mistress of about three years, Rachel Gillette. They would learn later that they didn't know things about Bob Beshera. One big thing, he was living with his wife, Jane Beshera, which is not the story the other women heard. He was divorced and had been for many years. Now, both women are wondering about other things, Bob Beshera said. He told me to contact Janet and tell her not to text him or call him. Did he say why? Because with Jane still missing and the police investigating everything, until he hears something, he wanted to keep his phones clear. Now, Bob Bashira has pleaded not guilty to all the charges he is facing, including the murder of his wife. The preliminary exam decides whether or not there is enough evidence for this to move forward to trial. It continues tomorrow. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.